So when we think about what is a printer. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out what may be the most affordable and possibly the best 3D printer that I've ever used, which is the Magician Max 2 3D printer wow. from a company called Mingda. I'm Eric J. Koons and welcome to my little place on the internet where I like to explore products, places, and ideas with you. Let's get into it. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with inventing my own stuff. Now, fast forward today, and I am lucky enough to have my own YouTube channel where I get to review things like this 3D printer, and I get to create my own stuff. Just now I get to do it in a way more technological way. So needless to say, I am super uh, excited to unbox this thing and test this thing out. First thing in the box is the instructions, and then we've got them in text, which is good because otherwise, I'd probably break this thing. Ugh. Ooh, so many pieces. Wow. Oh my God, this 3D printer is gonna be big. Thanks, Captain Obvious. This thing is already looking legit. Here is everything it comes with, but now we need to put it together. Construct me, Daddy. I love when products give you all of the tools needed. Next up, we're gonna install the extruder. Kinda sounds like an X-Men or something. We're just gonna pop that right on here, take these screws and screw it in. Oh, here's the moment of truth to see if we put everything on correctly. A great success. Actually, hold on, before we go any further, I'm editing this right now and I filmed a bunch of stuff that shows you how to go through the actual 3D printer itself on the screen. However, I feel like it's gonna make this video like 30 minutes long if I put that in. So I'm just gonna let you know, it has a lot of in-depth settings and you can like adjust anything on the 3D printer. But for most use cases, if you're just gonna print like I am doing in this video, you're not gonna need all those crazy settings. I'm gonna show you here in a second how to print it from pressing the print button. All right, let's get back into it. It's already pretty much ready to go. All we're gonna do is wait for it to heat up. It's gonna auto level. Then we're gonna put the filament in, ah, which we've got right here. I'm gonna grab my spool. I'm gonna throw it up here. And then I'm just gonna grab the end. I'm gonna feed that right into this hole right here. After you put the spool in, it's gonna be in here. And if you wanna actually make sure that it's going through, you can unscrew this thing and drop this down. You can see into the motor and you can push it all the way down into the heating element down here. But I've got mine down in there and I can tell because if I push down, it starts to have the little plastic melty thingies of popping out the bottom. Let's put the screw back on. And next thing that we wanna do is I'm gonna put in the SD card. I'm just gonna see if it has anything on it already. This is the SD card that it came with. I'm gonna go to print, I'm gonna go to SD card, and it looks like we've got a pumpkin monster. Do I wanna print the pumpkin monster? Heck yeah, I wanna print the pumpkin monster. So, we print it and now it has started. I guess now we see if it works. I see it pooping right here. It's pooping out some of the plastic. So it's doing something. As you can see, it's adjusting now. I guess it just had to poop a little bit, but now it's trying to get the base all in the right place. Let's see if it does what it's supposed to. I'm gonna move the camera in a little closer, actually. I'm gonna get you guys inside the action. through the things that I really liked about this and then I'm gonna go through things that I think that this 3D printer could probably do better. Number one in things I like, it has a very easy setup. As you saw, it's very plug and play. You just put it together and you've got all of the instructions right inside this booklet. I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to put together and then it took me another 10 minutes maybe to figure out how to work it and it wasn't hard. <laughs> The other thing that I really liked about it was that it was super silent. I actually did a recording with my Boya headphones where it was completely quiet in the house so you could see how loud this thing actually is. I'll play that right here so you can hear it. The 
So as you can see, it's pretty darn quiet and these things pick up a lot of sound. I think that is my next big like is that it's just really silent. Number three, I think that this is a pretty good print job. Now I did another 3D printer on my channel a while back, but I don't think that it did quite as good of a job. I think this one came with a lot less stringing and this one feels pretty nice. I saw some other reviews on this where theirs came out pretty bad, but it was in an older model of this. I think with this model with the Max 2, it came out really good. So overall, the 3D printing is really good. And the crazy thing is, I just used the filament that it came with, which is this basic white one, but there's definitely better filaments that you can, uh oh. There's definitely better filaments that you can get for this. I'm gonna order some off Amazon because my ultimate plan was actually to do Hogwarts Castle. I uh, didn't end up getting to do that, but I will be doing that in a future YouTube short, so stay tuned for that. Next thing I really like about this, now, as you can see, this was a pretty small 3D object, but this thing is tall. Like, if I wanted to, I could make a really big 3D object, which when I do the Hogwarts Castle, that's what I'm planning on doing. But I think that's another big plus is that this thing is massive, but it's massive for a reason, it's so you can 3D print bigger objects. Another thing that I really, really liked about this 3D printer was that there are so many customizational options. I didn't really dive into them too deep into this video. However, I will definitely be diving into them in a future video as I continue to hone my 3D printing skills. And last but not least, it's in the title of the video, this is a very affordable printer for what it does. $200 is insane. I remember a few years back when 3D printers like this were up near $1,000. So for it to be now $200 and you can print like amazing prints, if I had better filament, that makes this thing overall a really, really great choice for a 3D printer. I will of course link it down in the description below if you wanna pick up your own. One thing that I was planning on mentioning because I had seen it in other video reviews of this product was that sometimes this is a little bit misaligned, the hot plate right here. However, I didn't really experience that at all. I didn't have to adjust this at all, but just in case you do get it and it is a little bit misaligned, you may wanna fix it. I didn't experience that issue, but I've heard some people have. But the main issue that I found while using it was really just on the screen and its responsiveness. Sometimes I tried to click the back button and it would start pressing a another button, you have to like figure out on the screen where to press because not all of the buttons were completely responsive. So overall, my big thing is that I just want Mingda to fix the touch sensors that are on this screen. I think they could make them a lot better and a lot more responsive. Now I'm gonna be playing with this 3D printer a lot more once I get into my new studio, as I've mentioned a few times now. That'll be in a few months once my wife and I move into our new house. My overall impression of this 3D printer though is it is amazing for the price. I wanna give a huge shout out to Mingda for sending me their 3D printer to test out and to keep. I am eternally grateful because this thing turned out to be awesome. Also, if you guys are interested, I got a link to my sci-fi book below that I wrote. It's called The Very Strange Universe of Dr. Natalia Zeal. I'll put it up right here on the screen. And like I said, link is down in the description below if you wanna go and pick that up and check it out. And last but not least, I'm gonna leave a video right up here for you to check out. It's actually what YouTube recommended to you because it thinks that you'll be interested in that and it's another video that I've created. So go and check that out. I am Eric J. Coons. Hit that subscribe button if I showed you any value and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep exploring. Peace out.